my beautiful people. Welcome to the dinner party. How are you guys? You guys good? It's almost lunchtime. What you eating? Today I went to, I didn't feel like cooking nothing and I kind of ran out of ideas. So I went to Happy's Pizza. Can you guys see it? Went to Happy's. Um, it's a pizza place. They sell pizza, chicken, uh, they sell loaded fries, they sell barbecue, they sell pizzones, they sell burgers, like everything. So that's what I have today. I have some barbecue. I have been wanting barbecue and won't barbecue. And I just didn't feel like, I don't know what I didn't feel like. I just didn't feel like cooking today. And I wanted some barbecue. I ordered a whole bunch. So, like I say, it's always some back there. You guys go back there and help yourself. Uh, how have you been? I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed, <laughs> enjoyed story time yesterday. <laughs> My sister-in-law was like, that's the first story you told? I'm like, yeah, that's the first story I told. So, I haven't had nothing to eat since I had the Korean barbecue with you guys. Um, yesterday, like I am starving. Then I had to wait for them to open, and so I'm 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 starved. So I have a uh, barbecue tips here and fries, and we finna get it in because I, I I don't know. I'm 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 like hungry to the point where I'm almost delusional. I should have told him to put barbecue sauce on the fries, too. I told him to um, fry my fries kind of hard. I don't like really soft, limpy fries. How's the weather where you guys are at? It's finally warm here. It's finally 70 degrees. It's almost the summer, and it's finally 70 degrees. Everybody else has been having really nice, warm weather. It's finally 70 degrees. I'm hungry. It might not be a lot of talking because I'm starved. I have some more new beautiful people that have decided to come to the dinner party. Thank you for joining us. Go in the kitchen and help yourself. And don't get no little saucer plate and try to be cute. Get you a regular plate, fix you something to eat. Let me tell you all what happened to Brandon Monday. He lost his phone at school. So, what's today, Wednesday? So, Tuesday, he come home. Because everybody was looking for it. Like, everybody. Even I went and picked him up and I looked for it. So, Tuesday, he come home. I'm like, he fi they find it? He's like, no, man, they didn't find it. I don't care. So, he eating. I get a call on my cell phone. It say, Brandon. I, I answer it. A young man found it and was like, is this Brandon's mom? I go, yeah. He goes, we found his cell phone. I'm going to put it in the office for him so he can pick it up like today. I said, oh, my God, thank you so much. A teenager found that. You know, I want to get that young man, even though I don't know his name, and hopefully Brandon will remember so I can say his name the next video. But I, if that young man ever come across my video, ever come across this video, thank you. You are a decent young man, and your parents are doing a good job with you. You know, we hear all these horror stories about teenagers and stuff. I just want to shout you out because that was a good deed. Like, somebody else would have kept it, and we would have never found it. It ain't no tracking on the phone. Well, it is, but it ain't. It, we didn't enable it on the phone, so we couldn't even track it. 
I tried calling it Monday, but it was turned off. So when I called it, it didn't do anything. But see, it's nice teenagers in the world. The news will have you believing that all the teenagers plotting on killing their parents, and that's not the truth. That is not the truth at all. Now, I really enjoy day barbecue because it actually tastes like it's been grilled. You know, like, um, I love a charcoal taste. Because that's how my mom has always done it. We've never had a propane grill. She's always had charcoal. So, I love that smoky taste. And this tastes like that to me. And they real tips, let me show y'all. They real tips are juicy. Y'all see that? Y'all see how big this is? I have... I only got a half a pound, so I got four. If I had got a pound, I think I'd have got eight. But, like, that's way too many. Let me know in the comments, have you guys ever lost something? And somebody returned it to you? And it's like something expensive. Maybe you lost a piece of jewelry, your cell phone, or have your kids lost something and another child has returned it. I think whenever good stuff happens, we all need to, like, report it or give a shout-out because, like I said, you hear so much bad stuff, right? People not getting along. Yeah. We know what's in the news. So, I think when, like, even that little thing, when something good happens, you should, if you have Facebook or Instagram, put it out there. So, I told Brandon to remember the young man's name. So, um, I can say his name tomorrow. Hopefully my baby remember. Mmm. And tell me, what kind of grill do you guys have? Do you have the propane? Or do you have, um, the charcoal grill? No. Her dad lives in a subdivision, a little culver sack. He lives in a culver sack. Uh, um, he can't have um, a charcoal grill because there's something about where he lives that the charcoal, they say the charcoal fumes stick to the houses on the outside. And it's hard to sell the houses if they wanted to. Because of the charcoal. Okay. But. I pay my. Mortgage. I pay my water. And I pay my light bill. But you can tell me. What kind of grill I can have. You going half on some of these bills. You going half on this mortgage. That's about the only way you'd be able to tell me. Is if you putting in. Because if you're not putting in, you cannot tell me. And it's outside. But anyway, he loves his little cover sack. So who am I? And, and you know, you know. Hey. I do have more story times. They'll be coming. <laughs> If you think about your life and some of the crazy stuff you've done, you're like, I'm surprised I'm still alive. Like, really. I'm not surprised I'm still alive. I'm surprised 
I don't have a record. Mm hmm. That's what I'm surprised about. But did y'all see that jacked up thumbnail they picked? Well, I'm talking about it. Let me try to pose for one so they, so I have some choices. Yo, did y'all see that? I look like I ain't got no neck or nothing. They know they wrong. They know they wrong. And normally when I eat hearty like this, I always have something sweet to eat. I was going to get a piece of um, red velvet cake from there, right? So I asked the young man, I said, uh, excuse me. I said, how much is the red velvet cake? That brother told me that red velvet cake, like, what did he tell me? $3 and some change for one slice? Yeah, okay. That's why it's so many pieces. That's why they got so much dessert. Who gonna pay three almost four dollars for one piece of cake? You can go to the grocery store and get a whole cake for that. And with prices and stuff going up, ain't nobody, bro. Okay. And he literally looked at me and laughed when he told me the price. Cause I looked at him. I said, really? That's what it is in real life. That piece was super fatty. It's funny. I can do fat on steak, but I can't do fat on nothing else. But if you if I got some fat on a steak, I can do that. But I can't do fat on nothing else, guys. Like, mm-mm. I always tell y'all I'm hungry. I'm not gonna be a lot of talking. I'm gonna still a lot of talking. My lips have been so chapped. Ever since I got sick, I've been sick. My lips, man. And then I had to buy this, right? No oh, shit. I mean, if y'all like, dang, y'all, you show us everything. But it's just really good for real dry trap looks. You see, you see the size of this too, right? You see it? It was six dollars. They know they should be shaming themselves, and I and it really works. It's really good stuff. But six dollars. Stuff is so expensive. We was just talking. About how like expensive meat and 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 um like avocado. That's what it was. I was gonna get an avocado. The devil is a lie. Avocado so high it should be painted in gold and silver. That don't make no sense how high avocado is. It really don't. to make sure Cause I, like I said I, don't, I like fat on steak but nothing else So, I don't know what I'm going to eat. I mean, yeah, what I'm going to eat because I'm, I'm craving something sweet now. I might drink a pop. Mmm. And that place has loaded um, french fries. It's a new thing. I'm going to try these. 
they have a uh, loaded um buffalo chicken fries and loaded ribeye steak fries the ribeye steak fries come with shredded ribeye steak on the fries drizzled with uh cheddar cheese and occasion ranch sauce that sounds good I'm going to have to try that. We're going to have to try that. And then with my lips being really chapped, stuff with like ketchup and barbecue sauce irritated so bad. That's why I have to keep coating it on there for protection. The water that's in here was the water I put in here yesterday. And when I tell you it's still cold, it's still cold. Like I and ain't no ice cubes left, but it's still cold. It's a couple, but they real little. Got oh, oh ladies. They have these in um like regular colors. If your husband works at a factory or something and you want and you've made like chili or soup, this would be a great thing to get them for Father's Day. They could put their chili, their soup, coffee or something in this. But they don't get them one with the flowers because, you know, he might get talked about. But they do have blue ones and black ones. <sighs> That's a great Father's Day gift. You know, or if you go, um, you know what else that's good for? If you go tubing, you could pour cold beer in it. If you do like bonfires, you can pour cold beer in it. And last, you do, I'm thinking it might hold a can and a half. Almost two cans of beer. Yeah. If you, if you do, um, like, hiking and you need cold, and you need something cold, all the stuff I named, I don't do. Mm, except for tubing. Y'all know I go tubing even though I can't swim. But I've never been hiking. I've never been camping. I've never been around a bonfire. Mm -mm. If it's in the woods, I'm not there. I'm there in the daytime. But as soon as night come, I'm out. When it start getting dusk, I'm out. I, uh uh, uh uh. And y'all boy, Brandon, want to go camping so bad. Poke thing. He's going to have to find somebody to camp with. Cause it's my, and he would think he want to go camping. But as soon as it get dark, he going to want to come home. He want to be there during the daytime. He he don't know how dark the woods get at night and he in a tent. Yeah, okay. And then I got to go get him because he didn't realize how dark the woods get. Mm-mm. Poor thing. See, and I'm getting full with them four little pieces, but they were like super meaty. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't like gristle either. I guess y'all like what she doing? I can get the I can get the meat without getting the fat. <laughs> mm.
I probably didn't feel because I didn't drink a lot of water. I'm full. Mm -hmm. Y'all know this two days in a row. No phone ringing. Have y'all noticed that? What is this? Y'all can't see it, but I got a notification. Hold on. I don't know how to get rid of it without messing with it. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I hope y'all still can see me. I'm going to move this way because I don't know because the notification like right in front of me. Why? Why must it always be something? Guys, I will thank you for joining me at the dinner party. I so appreciate it, my beautiful people. It's always something with my phone. I will see you guys later. Thank you for joining me. I want you guys to have a blessed day. Bye.